Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you here. We are going into Costco today for a massive stock up. I haven't been here in like over a month. I am 36 weeks and four days today pregnant, and I am stocking up for like our regular grocery haul, but also to make freezer meals. So stay tuned. Let's go see what new stuff they have for spring and summer as well. Let's head in. Speaking of spring and summer, these chips just scream like a barbecue to me. Red Rock Deli. I have tried, they're, I guess they're like an Australian brand, but I've tried a different kind of these before. These ones are sweet chili and sour cream. No idea what the ingredients are. I'm sure they contain milk, but it does say that they are gluten-free, which is great. These just sound like something fun, a little different than like your regular barbecue chips or whatever. $7.99. Speaking of chips that I would love to see at a barbecue, these ones spicy dill pickle that just sounds so good if you're a pickle fan i'm sure these would be amazing somebody already has the ingredients turned over here but it doesn't look like they have necessarily any like milk in them or anything like that looks like they might be gluten free you guys can let us know in the comments if these are good another kind of chips they have here too are called hilo life hilo life these are made with almond flour they are keto which means they usually probably contain some kind of milk it contains almonds and milk but these ones are chili lime flavored for 10 bucks. I just walked over here and I was like, these are new. I've never seen an orange bag here. We did just eat these. We usually grab these ones, but they were kind of getting old. They're great for dipping. We just were kind of over them. These ones are veggie crisp with rice, peas, and black beans. They have pretty good ingredients in them. They're gluten-free and plant-based and all that. But these ones are zesty salsa. I wonder if those are good. You want to try them? Not these. Not these? I'm just curious what these would taste like. But would we eat them? That's the real question. They're seven and six ninety nine a bag. Those ones are seven ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's yeah, it's good, huh? They're doing the uh, skinny pop cheddar popcorn. Perfect. Six forty nine. These look so good. They are called snappers, caramel and pretzel clusters, dark chocolate with sea salt. That's a heavy bag. $12.99 for those guys. It's a pretty good size bag too. Right next door, they also have these heavenly hunks. I've talked about these multiple times. It says to keep them in the fridge. I like them better if they're just kept in the pantry, but for 10 bucks, you get these. They're basically like little cookie bites, but like really good ingredients. I've already picked up 10 things of <laughs> Rayo's um, marinara sauce, but these are very interesting to me. Organic marinara from Tuscany. They are the Kirkland brand. I'm assuming they're different than that, which is their regular Kirkland brand marinara. It has to be because these are $10.99 for three jars and that's $12.99 for three jars. But let's see, they look kind of fun. Like, should I try it? Hmm. I have never heard of these brand of pickles, McClure's pickles, but they look really good and crisp. They are in the dry section. I'm obviously not in the refrigerated section right now. Usually we get the Grillo's pickles, but if they don't have the Grillo's today, I will be coming back for these guys. They have really good, pretty good. I'll say pretty good ingredients because they do have natural flavors in there, but just under $9 and you get two of these big guys. Okay, this looks so good to me. <laughs> But I am very much into like buffalo sauce and stuff like that. And I think this kind of goes along with it. This is Savannah, Savannah Bee Company Hot Honey. It's made with wildflower, wow, can I even talk today? Wildflower honey, habanero peppers, and scotch bonnet peppers. So it's got to be really hot. Let's see the ingredients. Looks like good ingredients to me. But this little bottle is $10. I'm assuming you're not going to go through it very quickly. Or at least I wouldn't because I don't do, I love hot honey, but I don't do a ton of it. Do we need ketchup though? We passed by this and I'm trying to think of any excuse that I would have to need blueberry jam um, because I have seen someone on YouTube use this and I wish I could remember who, but when she was using it, it came out with like whole blueberries in it. Anyways, organic wild main blueberry jam. It's on sale for $8.99. It is going away, which is what that asterisk means, which is why they only have like just a little bit of it. I'm like, what could I use this on or in? Hmm. My wheels are turning. We do have this organic strawberry spread at home and the kids love it for like peanut butter and jellies. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you may or may not remember like a year, two years ago, maybe almost. Um, I bought these mini pancakes to throw a baby shower for one of my girlfriends and they turned out amazing. They were super easy. You literally just take them out of the packages and I put them on like 
I actually think I have a reel of it on my Instagram, but you put it, I put it on like butcher block paper all over the table and they were so cute. $10 for mini pancakes already made. Well, instead of trying to just jam everything in here, I'm gonna take this cart to the front. We've got quite a bit of stuff in here anyways. And then we're gonna go back for like our cold stuff and produce. You know what I am gonna grab? I'm happy to see this stuff back. Dark chocolate and peanut butter granola. We have a bunch on hand of the red berries and granola cause that went away, but this is on sale right now. So we're gonna grab some for $7.39. It's about $2.50 off. Well, if this doesn't remind me of living in Hawaii, I don't know what does. They used to have these everywhere. Um, but these are basically just dried mango with like chili powder on it. It's like a blend of chili peppers and like spices and stuff like that. But I thought that is so good. 30 ounce bag for $8.49. I swear the dried fruit here, like it's the best deal you're going to find on dried fruit because dried fruit is expensive. So expensive. Am I going to regret not getting that chili mango? Probably. I have never seen dried cantaloupe. That's for sure. That's interesting. 20 ounce bag for just under 10 bucks. You guys, I am so shocked to see this brand here, DB's Organics. These ones are like the little freezy pops. They're basically like Otter Pops, but better ingredients for you. Top nine allergen free. It basically has no dyes in it, which is what the organic means on that. Um, but it comes with strawberry, lemon, mango, orange, and blueberry pomegranate for 10 bucks for 35 of them. I'm definitely grabbing one of these. I wish I would have seen that before I bought it on Thrive. I've just never seen these in store before. These look so good. These are dark chocolate toasted coconut cashews. Um, yes, layered in cashews layered in vanilla cream and dark chocolate and then dusted with toasted coconut. $12.49 for just your happiness. I mean, that's pretty cheap. Look at all these planters. I love these modern ones. They are so cool. Oh my gosh, they're kind of expensive. $60 for a 21 inch. I've seen these ones at Sam's Club too and they're even cheaper there. But I love the texture of these. These are 22 inch planters for $22. I grabbed some of the uh, Impact Organics Earthworm castings, castings, whatever, for our plants this year. And then I grabbed three of these potting soils. They're organic um, potting mix with, what is that called? <laughs> Compost in it, because they're on sale for $8 a bag. I grabbed three of them, which is just how many would fit in the cart. I wish I could grab a few more, but they're way cheaper than the $13 for like a smaller bag at Lowe's. So. $8, I'll take it. We have a lot of container gardening that we are doing this year um, because our garden beds will not be ready yet by the time gardening season comes around. I just grabbed this outdoor packable blanket because I have been thinking about it for a year, <laughs> literally a year when we were living in Oregon and I saw these come out and I was like, oh no, I don't need it. And I've thought about it for a year thinking, wow, that would have been really useful. Um, and I just came by someone who actually bought it and she said it is great. She's actually buying a second one. It is water resistant. Corner loop keeps the blanket in place. Um, two large pockets for storage. It looks like this. So it comes with like a little bag. She said it folds up really easy, easily back in there and they're on sale right now for $20. You cannot beat that. Um, I get why she was buying two though because they are just a throw size. I think one should be enough for us for now, but so easy to keep in the back of the car. I wonder if this really works. If any of you guys have this, let me know if it works because I would buy that. Mosquito repellent. We have a lot of mosquitoes and like ticks and stuff like that out here. Nine hour battery life, it says 40 hour pack. So I guess it's not rechargeable. You're like buying something, but it's $50. Hmm, I'm very curious about that. They also have insect killer lanterns, which I think are just like the standard. I did buy this last year, actually on Thrive. I did not know that they sold it here. I don't think they did last year, but lemon eucalyptus oil, it's insect repellent, but it's like all natural and it doesn't have a bunch of like DEET <laughs> and stuff in it, um, which is great. We used it last year and I really liked it. So for three of those for $15, that's a really good deal. If you love organization like I do, I grabbed this four pack of iDesign storage bins last time I was here and love them. I thought they were worth it for $20. They're even more worth it for $16, $4 off. They are so good. Tons of liquid IV out this year. They have lemon lime here. This one is the hydration multiplier. They're all $30 for 30 sticks about. They're like $29. 
They also have 15 golden cherry and 15 strawberry. The golden cherry sounds really good to me. Also a hydration multiplier, I guess. And then this one is the energy multiplier. It's the yuzu pineapple. Uh, oh, that one's only 24 sticks, but these other ones are 30 sticks a piece. They also have this one right here that has vitamin C added and zinc and well -mune. I've never even heard of that, but this one also has 24 packets for $29. Tangerine. I have seen so many people stop and buy this. It is the Cilantro Lime Crema by Don Pancho. Uh, it's the same crema used in the Costco service deli for their street tacos, so it must be good. And it's on sale right now for $5.49, which is $2.50 off. I feel like that's a great deal. Um, I also grabbed these tortilla chips, which are $3.89, so $2 off. I grabbed three bags of those. Imagine how this would be on nachos, so good. Did you know they sell life straws here? These are the personal water filters or whatever. Like, look, he's literally drinking out of that nasty river. <laughs> a four pack for $50. I guess these would be good if you are um, in an emergency. I don't know. And you have like a creek behind your house or camping. You know, can you tell I don't camp? <laughs> I think I shared a chair similar to this with you at Sam's Club, but it's like a swinging rocking chair like a camping chair, right? It folds up. It is $39.99 right now, so it's on sale. This just looks so comfortable. Mommy, can you hold this? We have another full cart again, but let me show you guys some key features. <laughs> this buffalo style dip, I was so excited when I saw that they had this back. It's perfect for dipping veggies in. So I have carrots at home to grab those for part of our um, freezer meal prep, which you guys will see. I grabbed some fully cooked bacon this almost hurt to buy because it's so much more expensive to buy it cooked, but it's just going to help with time prep. Um, and this outdoor packable blanket that I showed you guys, I am so super excited about that. We grabbed like 10 things of these tortillas because they freeze really well. They're the Siete almond flour tortillas right here and perfect with one of our favorite salsas. If you guys are looking to see like what else we got in this cart, I have been switching up my Costco hauls by showing you a bunch of stuff that's in store. And then when I get home, I lay it all out on the counter so you can see it out nicely. And that has been like the more popular way you guys have seemed to really like that. While I'm sitting here getting, getting handed ice cream from this little one down here, uh, I wanted to show you this zero gravity chair because the kids have been loving it. They have been playing in it and um, it's very sturdy. I can tell you that it's on sale right now though. It's usually 90 on sale for 70. Love that it comes with a cup holder um, and like some place to put your phone, things like that. And they just are having a grand old time in there but it folds up really nice and flat which is also a pro. They also have this like director's chair right here by Timber Ridge. This one is $50. Of course they have all their camping chairs out and stuff right now because it's about to be camping season. Um, which is so fun for those of you who do that. Mama. That one also comes with a cup holder. Mama. And of course, you know, they have a ton of coolers out too. They have this coho cooler, which kind of looks like the Yeti coolers. I'm not sure if that's like the whole goal of them, but it looks like it snaps shut. It's called an injection molded cooler for $70. It's a 24 quart. Um, they also have a little bit of a bigger one right here. This one is a 55 quart and it's $140. They also have this massive igloo one, which reminds me of the time that we <laughs> moved across the country with all my breast milk in an igloo cooler like this, and it totally melted, uh, even with dry ice in it. <laughs> I'm sure they've gotten better since then, but they have this rolling one here too for $80, and then this one is not rolling, which just seems like a pain to carry, but it's kind of, yes, it's similar to the coho one, I think. I think it's like an injection molded cooler again so $150 for this one for 70 quarts this collapsible table is really cool for camping too it comes with two cup holders and it's pretty sturdy but it's super lightweight it's about $30 I mean oh my gosh these are both ours <laughs> to be fair I think this is the usual amount of stuff I get but I just didn't feel like cramming it all in there this time and having to like play Tetris well, that was certainly nuts. $1,077. Yes? Anna. You want to listen to Anna? Okay. Anna. She wants to listen to Let It Go. The kids did so good. I am done. I have, I'm trying to remind myself that I stocked up for longer than usual so that I hopefully don't have to come back here um, for a little while. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Anna. But I also am making like a, an extra 20 meals that I wouldn't be making on a regular basis. So 
trying to remind myself of that because that was a real sticker shock. Oh, we're done.